Hello everyone and welcome to the StreamTeek channel. So for today's video guys I'm gonna show you a procedure how to do a patch on a carbon pipe. As you can see here we got a 12 inch uh, SCAD 40. Uh, they did the lamps cam. Uh, they're checking for uh, thickness uh, where all that uh, material is uh, really thin it out. Really thin. Uh, usually that's what happened with the steam lines and this is uh, because the high velocity come into that pipe and um, doing like water hammers and just uh, that's what thinnings, thins the wall and uh, with time it just ruptures. So after the lamp scam is done they usually mark the area which uh, should be cut uh, then we're gonna cut it out uh, kind of diamond shape first and then we're gonna round the corners uh, using uh, comb stones or any other tool that's uh, this is the that plate we cut it out as you can see the, here uh, it's like a water hammer marks that's what caused uh, with a steam coming out of that uh, branch uh, it's going inside that uh, 12 inch pipe uh, that's what happens with the uh, with the years especially i don't know for how long is this uh, pipe been in service probably 20 30 years maybe who knows but anyway uh, i'm back to the okay now when the diamond shape is cut uh, now we're going to run the corners and uh, once the corners are round we got all that shape then we're gonna do a bevel and then they're gonna perform bevel test uh, bevel prep and they go to pt usually on a on a on a, on a bevel bevel prep okay that's it pretty much um, as you can see here inside straight from that uh, one inch pipe uh, that's where the steam was uh, hammering that uh, and then just thins the wall. So just gonna cut another patch, uh, just measure it out. Take your measures and uh, cut from the, just cut from the 12 inch pipe outside. Pretty much same thing. We're gonna round the corner so that can uh, match uh, that hole on the pipe. Once when it's bevel is done, uh, they're going to PT, as I said, uh, so the PT is okay. Uh, it means no any indication of porosity cracks or in anything internal inside the wall, inside the material, so it's good uh, It's good for tacking. Usually that's what they do with the existing material, with the existing pipe on the new piece. Uh, there's no need for that. We're just going to shape it out so it can match that hole. I'm going to put four dogs on it. Four little dogs on uh, each side. And then uh, we can put inside and then just gonna attack and I'm gonna put uh, four actually I'm gonna put three uh, like a bridge tax it's gonna hold that uh, plate in place uh, it's a full penetration so the, it's like a closure weld it's like pretty much uh, so you got uh, one vertical and you got two vertical and two horizontal welds um, same thing like on a regular butt uh, butt joint butt weld only in this case this is a patch so gotta be beveled both edges uh, both ends gotta be beveled uh, because it's 100% full pen uh, they were con they debating about an x-ray or a UT anyway after root is done they have to do MT on the root uh, this is what I'm gonna do I'm just uh, gonna fill the side do one side and do on the top as you can see a little bit more gap on the top uh, the pipe should be, uh, that plate should be always uh, sticking out a little bit in 16 or max like 332 maybe outside because uh, usually the patch uh, is prone to just sucked in from the from the welding so we want to have a little bit outside so if it sucks in it's going to be flush, uh, flush out with, uh, with the rest of the surface. Uh, preheat uh, 300 Fahrenheit, uh, preheat that's uh, prior to welding. and uh just going around uh one eight tungsten cup size uh eight uh 125 uh, amps for the root pass it's gonna be i'm gonna start on the horizontal bottom part pretty much uh like on a as i said like on a, any other pile like any bevel on the prep edges uh the only thing this uh this is the patch it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit tricky especially going around the corners uh, top and uh, bottom as you don't want to stop on the corner as uh, you can't fit any grinder inside so i would like to just uh, 
stop before the before the, those uh, round corners and uh, try to weld it uh, pass them through and then stop later uh, further up on a vertical part as I said uh, didn't stop here I'm just uh, just stop up as long as I can fit that grinder here and uh, just uh, grind stop starts as I said they still debating about x-ray or UT how they gonna do it uh, it's a little bit uh, tricky with x-ray probably they gonna do uh, UT uh, now I'm just uh, climbing up uh, horizontal part uh, dipping technique burning edges uh, this side is pretty pretty good uh, pretty decent with the gap it's like uh, one eight gap you can really fit a rod inside so I'm just going on burning edges and uh, fitting that rod side to side and pushing uh, material in uh, it's really hard to see the root it's not like on a pipe you can leave the window and you can check the root uh, try to check with a uh, you know with a corner of my eye try to somehow find a uh, find a way to check the root but it's, uh, it's it should be good it's pretty good it goes uh, really well this other side is uh, is a little bit tight as I said this is the corner this is the tricky part I'm going uh, bottom up bottom up on the right side of the of the patch you don't want to stop uh, anywhere in uh, especially in the middle of that uh, of that corner it's a little bit tight this side so if it's tight just uh, crank the heat up it's gonna it shrinks up uh, on me a little bit uh, I'm just gonna crank it up uh, 130 140 amps I'm just gonna do keyhole technique here I'm still dipping the sides 1.8 uh, the rod I'm using it's uh, ADS uh, D2 that's why usually they they use in the power plants give well carbon it's not like 70s6 still good rod clean enough okay it's uh shrink here a little bit uh, then I got a big gap up on the top it's almost like a quarter inch gap as you can see here it's really really tight so what I'm doing I'm just uh, just opening just burning that uh, try to create like a keyhole technique once it's open I just dip uh, rod inside and pushing that uh, material in so I know I'm, uh, I got both edges burned as you can see the top part now is opening uh, more just uh, fitting rope try to cover that uh, so it doesn't open that much and now already here on this part uh, the top side of that patch uh, sucked in a really couple three mils I would say three mils so now I got a quite a bit of high low on the top so I'm just gonna fit the top it doesn't open too much as you can see here it's around uh, almost three mil that difference uh, on a, between a high low between that patch and a, and a pipe as you can see I'll have to do probably a bigger uh, build up on a cap put more material so it doesn't gonna show too much on a, on a UT but the thing is here with the root uh, you really have to push it in now so that's it MT is done uh, on the root uh, they're doing MT on the outside uh, root they looking for any indications uh, crack porosity so if everything is okay which it is in this case uh, then you can continue with a fill so pretty much a hot pass like on a pipe uh, horizontal and uh, vertical part pretty much the same thing for hot pass running uh, 150 amps same thing uh, corners um, I'm walking the cup here Walking the cup uh, in this case, uh, it's easier. It's easier for me. You can do a free hand as well. But uh, since you got lots of room inside that uh, inside the bevel, there's lots of room in that groove, so you can just uh, walk the cup. It's not a big deal. Uh, 
Okay, that's it. Uh, hot pass is done. I did a little bit uh, thicker hot pass here. So it's gonna it's now pretty much um, the rest of the game is uh, just uh, fill that, uh, fill it up, uh, fill to flash, and then get ready for uh, for the cap. There's a little bit uh, wider here on the top. As I said, you can see here now how much uh, I actually pull that uh, top part of that patch, uh, pull it up, pull it in, sucked in that top part. Okay, this is the fill to flash. As you can see here, I did uh, did uh, quite a bit passes uh, here on the top, tried to make it fill to flash. And then uh, now I'm just, uh, now we're gonna do cap. I'm gonna go four passes. Uh, I'm gonna do the top uh, top part first. And this is the first pass. Now I'm running the second pass on the top part. I'm running 140 amps. Uh, still using 1.8. Filler wire. So I'm after that third pass. I'm gonna stop. Uh, I'm just gonna reevaluate um, about my four pass. The last one is I'm gonna go. Uh, there's a little bit difference on on the corner. So I try to, as you can see here, I'm just gonna put a wrap around, mark the line that's gonna cover the 30% of my uh, bottom pass. Just gonna make a line here. Then uh, that's the line I'm gonna follow, and I'm just gonna mark the second line. That's gonna fit my uh, bead inside that uh, that line. I'm just uh, the the plan here is uh, just to make it uh, make it nice, make it uh, to look good, so I can cover all those uh, uneven spots I got on a, on a pipe, and on those corners as you can see here. As I will go, uh, this is uh, just the kind of lead I have. It's uh, it makes me, you know, makes my life easier. So I got uh, I got pads, so I know what to follow. It's a good habit, you know, guys. Uh, if you struggle, especially with uh, maintaining the straight uh, straight bead, you can always grab a wrap around and uh, mark yourself uh, pad, so you know where to travel. So you can see top and bottom, as you can see here. I can see the top and the bottom uh, edge of that line. Soapstone, uh, usually it's uh, the best. It doesn't uh, melt or doesn't burn out like if you use a marker on any, any paint marker. It'll just uh, burns out and disappear. Pretty good. Okay, that's it. Uh, that's uh, four passes on the top. This is uh, the first uh, cap I did on a, on a patch. It's a little bit heavy. I think that's uh, the only way to do it. Otherwise, we have to cut it out and pull it out, make the flesh that's uh, just mission impossible in this case and uh, no need. As long as you know what you're doing, it should be fine. Uh, if you got, uh, as I said, a little bit um, high low, you want to do heavier, uh, especially when they do UT or X ray, then it's not going to be that much. Uh, it's not going to be visible. So, you got lots of meat inside and outside. So it kind of just uh, transition all that uh, difference you got. And uh, top is done, so the bottom was done, and now the the sides uh, gonna be the last uh, the last part of the cap. I'm gonna finish the sides. That's it, pretty much. Uh, it's been a really long time ago since I did something similar like this, like patch, and I thought it might be interesting for you guys uh, if you come. Who knows, maybe one day, if you got any patch to do, uh, just uh, a little tips how I did it, you can do it too. Uh, so they're gonna do UT, as I said, they were debating about X-ray or UT, so UT for sure. And everything is good, everything went well, and that's it. Hope you guys like it, uh, enjoyed so far in this video, I hope I'm gonna help you if you got something similar like this uh, down the road in your uh, career in your job uh, i hope this video might help you out thanks for watching appreciate it see you in the next one take care guys